Okay, hello. Good day. Uh, today I'm gonna uh, continue with my tutorials uh, with the LibreCut drawing software. This is the third one. Uh, today I'm gonna draw a small gearbox with some gear wheels and um, we call it the mounting drawing. So it's it's a drawing that used by the engineers to put everything together. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's start. Uh, I'll make some uh, calculations uh, before. Um, first, I'm gonna make some drawing lines first. So the drawing lines uh, we put in the layer list. You see, like here, you have a block list here. You have a li library browser, uh, the layer list over here on the right corner. You can select it. Um, so first, uh, the zero I always use as my drawing line. So, uh, and we make it uh, the thickness of 0.35. You can always change it later on, yeah, guys. So if you if the drawing is finished or you are on the half of the drawing, you can always click it, select this one, and then you can change the thickness, the whole drawing. Let's keep it on that. Also, uh, some center line. I call it center. Uh, always thinner than the drawing lines. Uh, I prefer 0 0.05. And then you can select here. Center small. You can also select center, but I normally small is a good size. Um, yeah, let's keep it like that. Okay, first I'm gonna put some center lines. Center line here, and it's, it's the the red cross. I can select it. Uh, I will show you the red cross. It's the of course the zero line. You see, the red cross is the starting point of the x and the y line. So the red cross is the zero y and zero x, or other way around. So I'm gonna start here with my center line. Okay, I make some corporations previous uh, before here. Um, I'm gonna draw the, the gear wheel set uh, and we're gonna use that gear wheel set to make it clear what I'm doing. So uh, I've just put a line over here, just a straight line. I know that my first gear wheel set is, uh, uh, that is a 28 teeth tooth. And uh, the other set is 84 tooth. And I know that I have a distance of 280 millimeters. So properties, I click it on, and you see it's still 280, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some small here. That's it. Okay, now I'm gonna draw the first gear wheel. I'm going to plugins. Oh, uh, before I'm going to start, guys, make sure that you use this version. It's the version 2.2.0.2 because the previous version don't have the plugin uh, from the gear wheel. So the gear wheel plugin, this one gear plugin, is only from this from this version. Okay. Uh, okay, plugins. There, there we go. Gear plugin. Uh, just click it. This is my first gear view. Then you get a lot of theoretical numbers, but I'm gonna keep it simple. Um, I'm gonna start with uh, the number of teeth 28. 28. And I'm gonna use model 5. Leave everything the same. Yeah, you can change it, the rotation angle, but that's a, a lot of calculation, but it's not important for what we're doing here. So that's the first one. We click this one away. Then we have the first gear wheel. Simple as that. And uh, now I'm gonna draw my second gear wheel. Um, edit, uh, oh, sorry, plugins. And we go to uh, gear plugin. You're gonna click here 
and my second gear wheel is 84 tilt and leave everything the same and accept and look at that that's my second gear wheel okay my third gear wheel because i i want to have more reduction so i'm going to put a small gear wheel my second third gear wheel is uh, on the same shaft as the second so i'm gonna go to uh, plugins and gear plugin click it and my third gear wheel is uh, 44 44 but mod module 6 i wanted that, that the gear suit is a little bit bigger like that okay now my last gear wheel just put some center line just on a I, I i don't mind where and that should be um like i calculated already okay because this program works from the zero point so you you i know the distance from here to here so i must calculate the distance from here to here so this distance from and this distance i must put together so my first was uh, i must speak a little bit 420 is that correct what i'm saying 100 200 no 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 280 sorry my 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 fault 280 and my second is plus 384 664 so properties simple 66 66 664 and also the other one endpoint y six six four. Oh, I make a mistake you see one is wrong six six oh yeah you see this happens when you make a mistake then the the, the line is not going to get straight like that that's it now put some another small center line that's it okay now I'm gonna go to the plugins and I'm gonna gear plugin and I must select, I must zoom in now the middle point and I'm gonna put here 84 also module 6 look at that that's the basic gear view I want to use in my gearbox so now um, I'm gonna put some uh, shaft inside yeah normally when normally yeah, I must explain that normally I, I would delete this part this part I would normally delete but the program doesn't allow me to do that so uh, I leave it for now the thing we can do is um, you, you can do this if you want to make it a little bit more clear because nobody knows if this gear wheel is behind this wheel or or not but yeah it's it's difficult to change that i can do properties and i can do this and i can say you know what i'm gonna make them red You see properties and i'm gonna make it red so you, you can do it like this if you want properties make it red so let's make it a little bit more clear yeah so um what we're gonna do now now i'm gonna put the shaft inside and later on i'm gonna make a, a, a drawing the, of the top side so it it, it become clearer when the where the gear wheels are uh, set in the position so let's uh, do it already here i'm gonna put a shift inside i must select my drawing line put a shift inside from properties 100 mil so 50 radius 
like that. That's too large, you see? That's too large. Properties, I must make it, let's say 40. Mm. With a lock, yeah, okay, that's, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, send the point. Here I'm gonna put a shaft inside from 120 properties of 60. Oh, that's all. That's good. You see. And here I'm gonna put a shaft inside from 200. Select the, the, if you want to select now my my mouse point is locked at the crit you see my mouse point is going from here to here you see so if 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 this is not a, it's on the grid but you must zoom it in if you don't want to do that you can do this you can also go here and then sorry to go here snap on snap on intersection and then you go Oh, so like that then put it off and then you can go also here yeah, so that's exactly in the middle also that's also a trick to do it um the radius of this one must be yeah, 200 let's say 200 i got a bearing of 200 so let's say 220 yeah like that so 220 and here i have 120 must be 65 and here i'm gonna make it smaller guys because this is too, too thick 30 and this better yeah make it 40 35 yeah like that Okay, so now yeah, I have my gear wheels and I have my shafts inside. Um, and that's the basic of the, the, the gearbox. Right now I'm gonna put here. I, I not calculate anything guys from uh, from the shaft or anything it, it's just on the fly this it, it's only meant to uh to to get see how the drawing in this program works uh okay now i'll snap it on the grid again oh sorry snap it on the grid again yeah now i'm gonna draw some locks inside mm. What we shall do, yeah, like this. Let's make it twenty wide. This. So we, now, you see, I, I I don't put it exactly on the line, but the trick is now I'm going to go to tools again, and I'm going to modify, and I'm going to use the trim function like this. So you click. And become green click on the line click on the line and you see it go perfectly exactly on that oh it's not in the middle <laughs> look at that it's not in the middle okay you know what you see i make a small mistake not a problem just put it here and that's it so finish okay now you can do it also here a little bit bigger lock of course yeah, I have a program to to calculate exactly how big the lock must be, but it's it's just to for get some feeling how the program works. Get trim. Okay, now the lock. You can put this on also here, and so on and so on. But for an um uh, how, how i call it so for a uh, engineer drawing this this is uh, i want to show you how it works that uh with the plug-in uh, gear views but uh, normally you, you get a side of the top view of a gearbox for mounting so 
we're gonna put this one aside now i'm gonna select everything i'm gonna use tools i'm gonna modify and i'm gonna say uh where it is um move copy yeah i'm gonna click exactly on the center and now i'm gonna use also i put the grid off and i'll use this one restrict vertical what that what this does that i cannot go to the left or the right side anymore i can only go up and down so i'm gonna put the, this one just here on the grid here exactly here like that and then delete original that okay delete original now i'm gonna now i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna hmm, wh where was it here and on deselect all there it is okay so what we're gonna do now okay now i'm gonna put the gear wheels i'm gonna draw the gear wheels in the, in a small gearbox it's on the fly guys so if i make a, a little bit of a mistake with with dimensions i'm gonna snap on the grid and i'm first i'm gonna do is copy my center line from here to here just do it like this here to here click on here restrict it vertically that's my other center line so i i, I can use the, the the top drawing for my measurements i must restrict it and you you see i can click it here exactly and I'm going to use that vertical, restrict vertical, click the right mouse button, otherwise you make a long drawing line. So I can click there. So now I have exactly my measurements from the gear wheels. So I also calculate uh, beforehand uh, my uh, sizes of the middle circle of the gear wheels. So uh, let's start with the input shaft. The input shaft let's make it it's a gear wheel from how big is it 140 let's make it uh, 40 wide 40 mil wide no oh, i must put this one off okay. let's start here 40 wide and i got an, um, an a middle circle of 140 so one we'll just keep it same one two three four five six seven here one two three four forty wide from here to here oh it's still on the center line if you it happened to me a lot guys if you put the wrong line then you're drawing center lines but i, I show you that's not a big problem because when I click it and I set properties and I go to the line, I can change here by the layer list. I can change it again to zero to my drawing line. Yeah, the center zero so was wrong. Just put it open and go to here. That's it. Okay, that's my first gear wheel. Now I'm going to use the tools, modify. Mm, you know what? Make it a little bit wider. I think it's a little bit small. Otherwise, my drawing is getting very small. Uh, delete. Let's make it uh, yeah, 80. Yeah, it's an eye powered gear, gear, gear wheel. <laughs> like that. Yeah, it's better. Okay, now I'm going to select it. Select it all four. And I'm going to use tools, modify. And I'm going to use the uh, mirror here mirror click on the on the center line put it to the other side and that's it keep original and there my first gear wheel okay my second gear wheel it's quite easy now you're going from here to here from here to here select it select select it also mirror if, if you if you use uh, one tool one time then it's it's also 
on the right click. If you right click your mouse, then you can see the things you already have used. So it's easy. So now I'm gonna, I don't have to go to the top side anymore. I just can click my right mouse when I use it before and then mirror, a mirror, mirror. Okay, perfect. That's input gear wheel, second gear wheel. And now I'm gonna put my third gear wheel inside. So I'm gonna draw it a little bit like that. <laughs> so, so like that. Select it and a mirror. So it's more of a construction way to do it because I don't want to get the gear wheel to. Okay, the third gear wheel has an uh, it's the C of 294 two is still in oh no 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 yeah so this is the second I'm gonna draw it over here now and uh, that's this a little bit more two points I'm just gonna put a line over here so the first thing I'm gonna do is properties I'm gonna check the properties of this one that's this my my x line is 280 280 this that that's the, the 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 distance from this center line to that center line so but for this line then i i need uh, an stc circle this the middle circle of the gear wheel is uh, 264 so that's uh, one 132 so i must get my calculator and i must say uh, 280 minus 132 is 148 so this line is on 148 and then 148 perfect and that's the line of my second gear wheel so just make it longer use the trim function trim go here then go there trim and look at that that's my second gear view okay uh, my second gear view um how wide we make it just make it yeah leave it like this it's not bad go to the middle use the trim function again trim 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 that's it second gear view No, 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 I do yep. like that. Then mirror. That's it. Okay. Now, and the, on, also now the, the last key view is quite simple. Draw a line from here. It, yeah, you, you must draw a line from, from here to here. Just leave it hang over like that and then use the trim function again to keep it nice, make it nice. And now select it, select them and use the mirror again, go to the mirror. Yeah. And then, okay, keep original. That's my last gear wheel. So input, the middle and output. Okay, that's good. Now I'm just gonna make some uh, Yeah, this is this would be the inside of my gearbox. Keep in mind guys I'm doing this on the fly. Like that. Or so just drawing the inside of the gearbox just to keep it then I can keep the the distance 
So just, just uh, later on I, I will take this away or something, I don't know. But okay, now um, I'm going to draw my uh, shaft inside. So you, you see, if you see it like that, then you know exactly where the gear wheels are into, into the gearbox. Okay, now I have... Uh, what uh, properties, what, what I have made here. I was radius, uh, so uh, a shaft of 70 mil. Okay, 70 mil. That's uh, 10, 20, 30. That's 35, that's here. Yes, that's 35 is here, yeah. So I, I keep the shaft a little bit further here. Yeah, like that. That, perfect. Uh, yeah, like that. Like that. Perfect. Good. So that's the, 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 the shaft in my gear wheel. Just mirror it again. Mirror. That's it. Like that. Okay, so that's the, the size of the shaft in my uh, the gear wheel. And now the output shaft diameter become 60 mil. Yeah. Okay, 60 mil. That. That. You can mirror it, but you can also draw it when it's easy. So what you prefer. Okay, the same thing we're gonna do here. You can also go here and then go further down below. Like that. Oh, that's, that's wrong, but then you can use trim to correct the problem. Like that, so that's the first shaft inside. Okay, now we're gonna use this. We're gonna do this one, that one. Okay, Let's make it a little bit smaller, two mil. Yeah, to here. Yeah, that's good enough. Mirror. Okay, that's good. Perfect. What kind of lock do I have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen mil, sixteen mil. Yeah, uh, that looks good. Sixteen mil. Okay. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just put a line here. Two points. I will go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight. Yeah, that's here. Eight, two here, eight. And look now. Now I'm going to use a new. I'm going to use center point angles. I'll show you what to do. Okay, you, you click the middle here. You're going to here. And you see where, where, where the line is become longer, that's the direction. You put it here, go here, go here, and there. Perfect. You see, center point angle, you do it here again. You click on it, go in the right direction, to the middle, and finish here. You can select it, mirror, and here. A perfect lock keyway they call it also okay that's my uh, input shaft nearly finished okay now now i need some uh, bearings here this is a uh, here here only comes a cover to close it and here yeah you you need some uh, things to get uh, sorted out so um my shaft size is wait yeah, yeah, yeah. What 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 I made of it? I made it sixty mil. Okay, sixty mil. What kind of bearings I have? 
or I was like, okay, you know what? Uh, I must make some. Uh, I'm going to SKF side uh, products, uh, roller bearings. Uh, where are they? Roller bearings. No. Uh, spherical. Tape spherical roller bearings. Yeah. Um, and I have a more diameter of what I'd say 60. Yeah, it was 60. Four type cylindrical. Okay, let's uh, 213 12 E. No, wait, I will write it down for a moment here. Yeah, 213 12 E. And then uh, it's uh, 60 by 130 by 31 white okay that's all i need so it's very simple guys you see so what i have i got a bearing that's 130 so i just put a line here uh from uh 165 so that's 30 40 50 60 you you, you can also do it like this yeah and then properties and then you can say okay you know what this is 65 65 65 okay that's the uh the dimension of my bearing and it's 31 wide i want to keep it wait can i do that uh wait this one is wider so i must keep it a little bit on the outside here just keep it on the outside. Uh, so I must do this. One, two, three, thirty-one. That's it. And on trim. And now you see what happens. There is a little bit of a problem with the position of my bearing. Hmm. Can I correct it later on? Yeah, I can correct it later on. Yeah. We, we're gonna do it differently. Uh, I guess the problem if you don't. Okay. Like here. Okay. Now, if I go to properties, I can see uh, I got minus 5 and minus 36, yeah? That's uh, 31, see the Y line. Y, Y, minus 5, it's starting and it ends at minus 36. Now that's a good gamble because it, I need uh, 31. So uh, <laughs> I did not do it intentionally, but okay. <laughs> okay, and now you can do this. Now you can do this. So, okay, now I'm going to make an, another line, thin line, call it thin line. Oh, thin line. And now I'm going to this. And I'm going to use trim. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to select this one, this one, this one, and that one. And I'm going to do mirror. Oh, mirror. No, it's wrong. I'm going to do mirror. Careful, wrong. Is that okay? Okay, that's the first bearing of the gearbox. Okay, uh, the bearing, and now I got room also for some oil seals. That's, that's uh, the good position. Okay, now I'm gonna try to get this one, this one, that one, that one, this one, this one, this one, that one, and that one, and I'm gonna use something else, and I'm gonna use move copy, move copy, and I'll select exactly this point. Look what happens, and I'm gonna restrict it vertically, and I'm gonna put it on on here.
put it on there. Okay. So, that's it. Oh, GG. Wait, wait, wait. Now I made a mistake. My mistake was I, I didn't uh, deselect the... Uh, uh, if you move copy, you 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 can uh, this uh, you must deselect. Um, yeah, wait, I will show you. Uh, use this. You see how correct I correct it. You can go always go get a step, couple of steps back. Move copy, and I I I I was doing this. You see, but the problem is I must not delete original. I must keep original. That was the problem. So and now wait. Undo. I must do it again, guys. Not now do it correctly. So like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna move copy from here to From here to wait a moment. From here to here, and then keep original. Perfect. That's it. That's the second bearing. And now I see a small problem, and the problem is not so big. Um, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Because now the, the the bearing can move over the shaft. Eh? If it's worn out a little bit, I don't know. But you must always prevent that. So um, what we're gonna do? We're gonna make the shaft a little bit bigger from here. Wait. From here. Yeah, to here. Like that. So delete this one. No, 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 did it undo, uh, trim, trim this one, trim that one, then uh, properties, because I, I made the mistake that I was not on my, on my drawing line, now I'm going to select my drawing line, and I'm going to so now select it, cancel, oh, sorry, I'm clicking too fast, Select it, mirror, go to the other side. But okay, that's it. Up like that. Go here to this point, to that point. Put it back here. So and now you, uh, you have to solve this problem. Okay, that's my uh, first set of bearings with a lock uh, in my input shaft. Now also make a thick line, a very thick line. Thick line. Because in the in our jobs we always uh, put it one mil. You said okay, and then you put a thick line in the direction of the tooth. Uh, just keep it straight gear wheel like that. You can put it here also. You can put it here also, so everybody knows. That, that is the line of the gears. It's a very thick line. Sometimes you always, uh, also when the, when the, the gearbox is moving one direction, you, you put arrows in uh, from the pressure angle, from the pressure side. Okay, but uh, that's it. Yeah, uh, I'll show you how it looks. Uh, print preview. Oh, oh, wait. Well, print preview, that's... You see, if you look in the drawing, you see the very thick, the greenish line of the direction of the tooth. It can also be uh, on a, under an angle. Okay. Okay, that's the first shaft with the bearings. Uh, now we're going to the second shaft. What the dimension I made over there. Horizontal. One thirty, okay. One thirty. So 
I make a shaft of 130. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's 130. So uh, yeah, it's some sometimes it's just simpler to count. 130, the half of 130 is 65. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Zoom it in a little bit. I said, okay, 65. That's it. Like that. Yeah, restrict it horizontally or vertically, like that. Uh, how wide is that bearing? That bearing is. Mm. Yeah, he makes a hole of 130. Oh, yeah, we must. The bearing is 120, so we're gonna. Yeah, now I'm a little bit in an, uh, into an, uh, in an issue because I must make my gearbox like that. And normally, gearbox like that. Normally, you don't see that. Oh, yeah, uh, okay, I, never mind. Uh, my bearing is uh, the white. Uh, 86 so one two three four five six and i got a bearing size of yeah we do it like this from here to here that's it not not more and now again i'm not changing it terrible mistakes <laughs> no like that okay put it on the the drawing line here yeah? and now, now we're going my Hearing size is uh, for the kind of chef like it is uh, 90. 90. Yeah. Wait. I'm, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, 120. Sorry. Yeah. 120. So here's my chef size. Okay. Like that. Like that. Yeah. Okay. So my bearing white was uh one twenty by one hundred forty. Wait, I made a mistake, I think. One forty, one twenty. I must go back to uh, SKF size as 120. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, go here. I'll make another one because uh, this one must be 120. Uh, apply. Or type cylindrical. That's what we have. 120 no I don't like that 120 uh, keep it simple yeah no that one Wait, I will write it down yeah I made a mistake in writing it earlier down 23 124 CC we okay that's good it's 120 by 200 by 62 okay that's it okay so now we're on track again uh my bearing is uh two points it's 200 so from here uh 100 120 uh Know what just keep the properties 300 okay and then we go to uh yeah properties is that correct no diameter of 200 this here can be uh wait i must have it i must check that 120 60 200 no i don't believe that 
wait i must check that uh, sorry for that disguise I, I, I already thought i or diameter of 60 120 apply board type cylindrical Two two one uh, one twenty. Yeah, that's, that's better. One twenty. Yeah. Thirty one twenty. Right. Yeah, we can arrive at one twenty by two hundred by eighty. Something else. 23 yeah, that one 162 yeah it looks correct one more diameter outside the diameter yeah 60 wide only okay perfect it's correct i was uh okay yeah okay so okay that's that's it that's it that's it that's it oh trim one two three four five six and sixty two eh sixty two and then here also sixty two that's it okay just it's a little bit out here like that like that perfect really curious it's the third one right then wait a moment 60 by 130 check this one first okay now uh the thin line oh sorry the thin line points from here to here from here to here that's it okay now uh properties uh sorry mirror mirror okay also so i forgot this one mirror you can do it in one last uh, one go of course mirror yeah you see mirror but you see if you make a mistake not a problem you can always go back or like that mirror that's good this one also mirror okay that's it i will check the dimension for a moment guys because i'm Curious if it's 200. No, you see, I made a mistake. It's 160. I made a calculation mistake. But okay, I made a mistake, so as you see, because this must be. Uh, um, what I said, this must be 200. It's not. I was already thinking about it that it was wrong. So it's 160, so I must put this one, that one, that one. Look, look at this, look at this, look at this like that now i'm going to check this one and i'm going to do it like that perfect easy this one you just delete yeah that looks better don't trim oh sorry uh mirror you see how fast you can this is all right just check the dimensions for a moment horizontal you see now it's 200 that's good that's it okay so uh now the the, the same thing we're gonna do uh, the other side just put this one this one that one that one we're gonna copy it to the other side because it's the same bearing on the same shafts and now i'm gonna 
put uh, move copy. I'm going to select this one exactly. And I'm going to restrict it vertically. I'm going to go here. And look at that. Okay, pro nice. Uh, you can uh, go here and then you can deselect all. That's it. Quite easy. You're going to, sorry, restrict it off. You're going to put that two points. You're going to go here, from here. Then you're going to use trim. Oh, sorry, trim. Then the line becomes green, eh? Trim. Yeah. Now, look at that. Trim. That's good. Mm. At the moment. I'll leave this one away. Yeah. Trim. Like that. Better. Okay. Trim. And to make it uh, more, uh, we put a small ring inside here. Um, properties. This is a normal drawing line, of course. So that's a small ring in between the bearing and the. Yeah, we do it right with uh, trim. Oh, why is not working? Oh, delete it. Just, just delete it, and then trim. Go to here. Just delete it. This one, mirror to the other side, mirror. Okay. Now we have a small ring between the bearing and the gear wheel. So, so as you see, that's my second set of uh, of bearings on the shafts. Okay, now I'm uh, gonna put my uh, output shaft. Yeah, I'm gonna put the output shaft in now. Uh, what I make of it? Mm, what kind of dimension I made of it? Uh, wait, I'm not gonna do it here. What have I? That was 220, yeah. 220, and I got a bearing. 200, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is a broken line. It's not exactly on the grid, so that makes it a little bit more challenging. But, um, Let's put a line here, drawing line, put it somewhere. And then I know that my shaft from the bearing is 200. So I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to select it here and I'm going to see, okay, where, where I'm at, I'm at 2664. So this line is on, so again, 664. So this one in, this line must be on, Five six four minus one hundred five six four. So that's the dimension of my shaft. I'm going to check it first because otherwise I'm going to draw everything in a, a mirror. Go from here to here. Okay, it should be two hundred horizontal. You can also use um, no uh, snap on endpoints. Yeah, from here to here. So and now you can check. Yeah, it's two hundred. Snap on endpoints mean that endpoints are lines. Yeah, sometimes that's easier than to use the grid. Yeah, you you here you have snap on snap on endpoints. Here you have snap on entity. Here you have stop on center, 
stop in the middle then, then, then you go to a line so you have a lot of snap points that makes your life easier uh, now we're going okay that's 200 that's the bearing size my shaft size was wait I'm gonna trim for a moment trim 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 so to make it more clear yeah that's perfect that's perfect okay now I'm gonna draw my bearing inside I already hopefully it's now correct what I have done it's uh, 200 on the yeah and 360 outside the diameter 360 it's um, 180 yeah so i put a small line here and i say okay uh yeah, horizontally and i'm gonna put it also and the the same thing uh properties yes this so it's uh, to make it clear but you know guys i'm able to make it a little bit more clear the 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 position of my of my center line is zero zero of a six six four six six four that means that means it's six hundred sixty four from my snap point from the red cross it's this distance to this distance is six six four that means that properties you see six six four so if i want to to get the the dimension from the center line to that line I must use 664 4 minus my half of the dimension I want on the shaft. So it's 180. This minus 180 is 6 of 484. So what I'm going to do now, cancel. I'm going to back to go back to right mouse click properties. And I'm going to say this must be 664, 664, the X line, yeah? The X line means horizontally, must, the I line is from top to bottom. That's why the I line is not important now, that's just, just a random line. Oh, wait, what happened? Edit undo what happened oh wait a moment properties wait a moment what happens it's what well, what did i calculate four eight four i think i made a type typo four four eight four yeah, yeah, that's correct. 484. 484. Yeah. 484. That's it. Can be. Cannot be correct. That's the outside diameter of my bearing. Yeah. Okay, that's outside the diameter of my bearing. And I want to start the bearing uh, at the same height as this one. So, this one, I'm going to... Wait, put this one off. I want to snap it on the intersection, like here. I'm going to click it, and I'm going to restrict it horizontally. Now I'm going to go from here, approximately here. Here, yeah, do it from here to here. Yeah. So now I'm exactly when I because I snapped this point, this point I snapped. It's exactly the same measurement. I'm snap it on the grid again. Two points, and that's it. That's it. Okay. Now I'm going to trim it to the middle. Trim. Trim to the middle, trim it here to the middle. Now I'm gonna mirror it. You see, I'm using a lot of things mirror and trim, and 
so to make your life easier for drawing and then trim it again here from here to here that's it okay this is the size of the bearing yeah the easiest way is to do it trim go from here to here trim trim okay and now i need also the white of the bearing uh, this bearing has a wideness of um, 98 mil so how, how, how you can do that easily now uh, easily how you can do that uh, is properties you click it again what you see now is uh my start point my starting point is you yeah I'm, I'm, every every dimension when i when i use properties is calculated from the red cross here yeah so when i click this small line here what what do i see okay the vertical position is at 484 484 mil from the direct position so that's the measurement from the red cross to here from the other from the red cross to here okay what you see the, the other end point starting point and end point means that my starting point the point that hit start it's here is 100 yeah nearly 100 wait i'll make it easier it's not a lot of difference so like that click it again the starting point is 172 so 172 millimeters from that red cross in that line this is 172 millimeters my end point is at uh it's 164 millimeters yeah so if i make this 200 see what happens you see then it starts at 200. When I make this 300, and it starts at 300. So, but I want to start that. I want that it starts over here. I want that it starts at 164. So I click it on again, and I said so. No, I want to start it at one, 164 like that and i want to end it on 164 you pack, you take your calculator you says okay 164 plus um, the 8 is 262 so i want to end it at oh wait i want to end it at sorry what what did i say uh yeah re uh, plus yeah 262 okay 262 262 okay that's the wide the wide thing of that's the wide of the bearing okay now i'm gonna go to here oh sorry click it correctly go to here I restrict horizontally go to here let's put it here and then use trim okay here also trim okay that's my second bearing that's my second bearing make the thin line restrict horizontally must be off go to the point Go to the point. Go to the other point. Go to the other point. Yes, that's it. Okay. Delete this one. Just select it. What you want to copy. Yeah, mirror. Go exactly to this one mirror okay that's it okay that's the bearing of the output shaft a little bit over dimensioned <laughs> see 
I see now, but okay, uh, it doesn't matter. It's it's only for uh, for purpose of okay. Now I'm gonna do a small trick. I'm gonna draw a, a one line here, only for for now for the time being, because I want to get this bearing exactly the same position. Select everything, what you want to copy. Yeah, and then uh, move copy. Restrict it vertically. There we go. Yeah, it's not the best. Uh, This is not the best way to do it, but okay. Keep it. Uh, keep original, of course, yeah. Keep original, okay. And now I'm gonna look at the end result. Okay, that's good. Yeah, the bearing is way too big. But okay, it doesn't matter. The bearing is way too big for the gear wheel. Because this is a bearing of uh, what? What's it? Three sixty. It's a very big gear wheel, and there are small gears, so I I exaggerated a bit. Yeah, but okay, it doesn't matter. It's just for the principle. Mm. Okay. Now we're gonna draw the. The lines again. Ah, this is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I made a mistake, guys, because this is ridiculous. Um, how am I going to do that? Easy way to do it. Yeah, I made a mistake. This is a constructor of the nightmare. <laughs> Delete. You know what? I'm gonna do it something different. I'm gonna do it something different. Okay. Move copy. Now I'm gonna show you the best way to do it. On. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to use the same bearings for the outside, uh, Chef. Keep original. Yeah, mm, yeah, keep original. Now, that's the way to do it. But I must get my center line back because I, by mistake, I put it away okay and on center because it must be correct eh? like that you see okay uh, move copy I must go to the No, 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 not horizontally only, not vertically only. Damn it. No, cancel. Hmm, you know what? I'll do it again. Eh, now I'm making a little bit of a mess of it. Uh, move copy. That's what's the problem. That I delete my uh, center line. So this is correct. Keep original. Keep original. Okay. So yeah, just a little bit sidestep, guys, because it was a ridiculous big bearings. Uh, deselect all. Like that. Perfect. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Delete that one, then you use trim, uh, 
and that one to there yeah that's that's better a lot better that looks more like it that looks more like it so you see you you can very fast you can make things properties because I, of course I use in the wrong line eh? okay so uh, mirror okay so that's better that looks a lot better okay now um, I have my gears I have my uh, Okay, now I'm gonna put this inside away because I don't need it anymore. So, like that. So I got my input shaft, my output shaft, but my output shaft uh, must be a little bit longer. So I'm gonna put the output side over here. Here, like that, like that. Put it on the middle here. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Copy it. Um, mirror. I'm using the mirror a lot, there, eh, guys. So, mirror. Okay. This one, I must change it later on. So. Yeah, there, there we have it. Input shaft, output shaft. Now I'm gonna draw the inside of the gearbox. Gonna do it. Oh, wait, I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah. Make it thick like that on the flyer, yeah, guys. No one longer. Go here, go from here to here, from here to here. That's it. Yeah, that's one. Officially, you must go further here. Yeah, to here, to here. That's easy, it's one straight line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then we go from here. Yeah, you can do it also like that. I do. Sometimes when it's hanging a, oh, a little bit over on the inside, it's not a problem. Keep it straight from here. A little bit of room. Now why a little bit of room? Because the oil is splashing everywhere. Yeah. To here, from here. Oh, what's the inside? Eh? I was drawing the inside. Wait a moment, guys. What, what's the inside? Yeah. From here. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. To here. A little bit of room for the covers. Yeah, now the other inside. From here to here. From here to here. 
you, you can see on, on the yellow line that you're in the right position eh? from here to here yeah here also from here a little bit of room for the oil let me go back let's keep it simple eh, guys so now I have drawn the inside of the gearbox yeah This I make almost necessary difficult. I'm not gonna do that again. Just keep it like this. Oh, that one away. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now we. I'm gonna drawing the outside. We need some. Uh, so I'm I'm go, uh, I'm drawing the top side of the split line. Yeah, to make uh, to make it more clear. Here I need the room for the cover. Let's say uh, two mil is enough. Uh, make it three, three. Yeah. Uh, keep it horizontally. 30 mil. Yeah, 30 mil is enough. Okay. Restricted horizontally, like that. Perfect. Do it probably, yeah, something like that. Something like. Yeah, yeah, I, did, I don't care. Oh, not, not far enough. Yeah. Yeah, go back a bit. A bit like here. So, like that. Just on the flyer, guys. Maybe I make a small mistake, you must forgive me. <laughs> uh, trim. Like that. Okay, there we go further here. Oh. We just under. Okay, dirty. Uh, wait a moment, I must have keep my... So, uh, later on I'll... Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think this one is better than that one, yeah. Okay, I will see you later on. Okay, then uh, trim. A very difficult gearbox to uh, manufacture, but okay. Normally we'll keep it simpler. Mask can be a real welding one. Okay, here you see I, I, I want to have 30 or so. And one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Okay. 
there also. One, two, three, four. Perfect. That's it. <laughs> this is a little bit too slow. One, two, three, four. Very close by, but okay, it's possible. Yeah. Okay. So let's see a print to you. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So now you can see the little. I, I must make some more lines over here like that. But okay, it's it looks good. It looks good. Okay, foul. Print the view off. Okay. Now I'm gonna trim like that. Trim like that. Trim also here, trim, it's good, trim, it's good, okay. okay, so what we have now, we have now the gearbox, we have the outside of the gearbox, We uh, this is a split line, and what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna make some holes in the split line, and then... Um, and the the menu the the building drawing is is nearly finished. So because uh, when you have a drawing like this, drawing like this with some measurements and uh, uh, a part list beside of it, then the uh, the engineer can build this gearbox together. And when you use AutoCAD 3D, then you have also a picture uh, from a rounding in the outside of the gearbox. But yeah, that's not possible with uh, LibreCut 2D drawing. Uh, it's possible then, but then you must draw the, the complete outside of the gearbox. Yeah, I'm not going to do it today because uh, this video has already been uh, one and a half hour nearly. So uh, I, I'm just going to keep it with uh, the split line the drawing. Okay, um, we have the split line, we have the, the output shaft, here we can uh, put a little, here, here we can put a key lock inside, of course, if it's necessary. Like that, key lock. Uh, what I showed you earlier. Where's the yeah from here to here that's one from here to oh yeah from here to here okay it's a little bit too close by you see it's a little bit too close by, by the split line so it must be a little bit shorter that's not a problem then you say uh, you have to do nothing. You just select it, go to the right point, and make it a little bit shorter, like that. You can put this one here, like that. Perfect. That's good. Now you can do the mirror again. You can do it like that. Perfect. Here you have your lock, your key way. Okay, so um, yeah, trim. Like that, like that. Okay, now I'm going to draw uh, very simple because I must hurry up a little bit. I'm going to draw a, a cover. So it's very simple. You do a cover like this, like that cover you put a cover up here like that here yeah. from here to here yeah. oh sorry from here to here yeah. that's it oh and a mirror to the other side is it okay mirror cover that's cover one cover
stream. Sorry. Okay, that, that I don't like. You see, there's a little bit of construction error. You put it and then trim like that. Yeah, that's it. So, cover number one. Okay, now we're gonna do cover number two. The same thing, of course, same cover. I'm gonna put it here. Make it, uh, this is enough. Yeah, trim. Yeah, also trim. Two points. Here, to here. 20 mil thick is enough more than enough put it here from there okay and also this one copy with the mirror oh copy with the mirror yeah this construction is on the flyer guys so don't uh, mention the that my calculations are wrong <laughs> it probably is but <laughs> I don't care for this moment okay yeah okay so move move this one nicely that it's straight oh yeah like that that's the second one second cover okay but that are the blind covers maybe i can no, that make it difficult. No, no, I'm not gonna make it difficult. This one the same. Also a cover. Twenty mil thick. From here to here. Trim. Make it simple. Keep it simple, guys. Trim. 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 Oh, <laughs> what I'm doing. That was not there. Uh... Yeah, that's better. So... Oh. that perfect the mirror I'm gonna say keep original okay oh yeah no, mirror that's it okay this is the same mistake as uh, early on make this nice like that perfect Okay, that's my uh, one, two, three blind covers. Here, uh, yeah, yeah, and so on, so on, guys. And then I here I need a cover uh, for. Sometimes they. Uh, Give here the measurements from the clearance also in the drawing. Well, uh, print view. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that looks good. A little bit mistake. Here you can see if you have make any mistakes with lines. Hey, you see this line and that line are not good. So file uh, print preview off, and then you then you can correct the problem. Yeah. Uh, properties you see that's uh, oh that's good uh, cancel what's one what was this one yeah this one zero and that one it was I think yeah okay so now you correct the problem 
um, I will show you a couple of things guys because uh, yeah the videos get on a little bit too long now but um, I want to draw some thread holes let's say uh, I'll cut thread holes in this I cut thread holes thread bars next to the bearings and in the middle I got holes just for bolts and nuts but let's start with that one uh, let's make a small center line let's say uh, what's a nice position here yeah a little bit further away this is a nice position from here to here and from here to here let's say the one two three four let's say 20 mil thread okay for 20 mil thread it's uh you have a hole of uh 18 17 and a half 18 so let's let's use uh so let's use one put one in here properties then you say okay you know what the thread hold is 18 so it's uh let's say 8.5 it is 17 then yeah 8.5 okay now i'm gonna select the, th the thin line and i'm gonna do the same what i done earlier also with the center point angles so like this like that like that yeah that's how you drew a m20 thread bar now i'm gonna use the mirror function again and i'm gonna say it, okay i want to put it this one under the same position on the other side that's good maybe a little bit too big you see when you calculate just ah that, that, that looks terrible eh? then you say but, but then you can say okay you know what i will show you properties and you say okay you know what this was terrible this was the wrong decision i make the radius 14. oh sorry i make the radius uh m16 uh, that's eight yeah no m16 is eight uh m16 drill is uh a 6.5 and i'm gonna make this one radius of eight then you have 60 mil yeah that's a lot better 6.5 and then you can see okay hey are we gonna make that eight perfect two thread holes yeah and now we i can do the that one on the same okay then you have two thread holes you said okay you know what i want in the middle here i just want to show you guys a little bit more center i'm gonna go in the middle here like that and then you say okay you know what this is a nice position and i want a 12 millimeters thread nuts and bolts through the flanges okay that's not a problem you said okay uh, let's start uh, let's start here oh that's it that's the starting point okay uh properties of course i must use my normal line like that that's the first one and then i'm gonna say properties and i'll say okay this uh, radius of six uh 6.5 to be exactly 30 mil like that you know uh, you know what okay that's that's too big for me as then i say okay, you know what we make it m m10 so that's uh 5.5 and then bolts is not a big gearbox so and i want to end up here I want to end up in the same position here so what what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a measurement of this line for now because I really don't know everything is on oh sorry my, my mistake everything is on the fly now I must select the vertical measurement everything is on the fly so how much is that it's just for a calculation it was, it was, 
154. 154. Okay. So one and a one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So my calculator is one five four. Five is thirty point eight. Okay, so I know that the next one I'm gonna make a small center line here. That yeah. Um Move copy. Okay. Take this one. I want to. No, no, no. Let Let's do it the other way around. Just put a line over here. Straight line. A little straight line like that. Go to properties. And you, then you see that uh, my line is one on my center line. My horizontal center line is at one four nine hundred one hundred and. 49 so i just calculate that uh, it was 30 points and a little bit yeah 30 points six or something was it like that okay but let's say uh 100 let's keep it simple 149 minus 30 is 119 so cancel properties 119 yeah, also 119. Okay, this is the position of my next hole. So now I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna set move copy. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go exactly on this dot and I say multiplied copies and I set four. And look what happened. Look at that. Oh, I must put five on it. Okay, wait, edit. Sorry, my mistake. Undo. We do it again, guys. We do it again. So you go to move copy, select the center line, go to the center line here, and say multiply copies five. And look at that perfect alignment. And perfect size. Look at that. And so, so on, so on. So you can draw, you can draw the, all the, the the holes inside the gearbox, the small gearbox. You can put the flanges on. You can put the the holes, and then you make a list beside it with the bearings. And then, yeah, you have your your mounting drawing for the engineers. You can also make a front size. Uh, uh, front view from this view from the outside and that's it and then probably in a drawing like this then a lot of engineers uh, give some uh, directions uh, like this yeah they make a point to here wait uh, what uh, let's let's do it like the, this direction put it here to here something like that Oh, and then properties. Sorry, I must. No, no, no. Properties. Properties. No, not working. Properties. No. Yeah, that's. Wait, delete. Thin line. Thin line. Drawing line. Sometimes I make measurement lines also. So, uh, leader. Yeah. Go from here to here. So. With a pie and then they put some text inside like this um, bearing clearance uh, what shall I do yeah 0 0.2 so like that so every engineer knows that when he putting the gearbox together one side must stuck and the other side must have a clearance of 0 0.2 so the 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 
the the the the chef can grow when the temperature is going up, and he, that he can do with all the chefs. Uh, the input shafts are normally and the where where the chefs where the 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 all seals are running on. It's getting a little bit harder than the chef that have no all seals on. So then the clearance is a little bit more normally, but normally it's around zero point two like this. 0 0.1 it's depending a little bit so and then you if you have to, all the drawings at the holes and the, then you can put also uh, uh, some uh, uh, then you yes a lot of engineers make then a small uh, uh, part list and also the, a list with the uh, uh, torque uh, values of the of the bolts but yeah for every engineer it's clear exactly clear how how the 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 gears are in the in the in the gear in the in the gearbox and when when the direction is different than uh, wait if the direction is different you, some some guys do do it like this Uh, put two lines here. So that's the turning direction. Okay, guys. Hopefully, uh, yeah. The it's a it's a long uh, <laughs> it's a long uh, video, but yeah. Uh, hopefully, uh, you learn something, and uh, if you have any questions then uh, yeah you can give it in the comments mm. normally if if you if you work this further farther out then yeah you have you have, i need uh, still one half an hour one hour to to finish this directly but it was more uh, to show you guys how things are uh, are, are done and then normally uh, you have a drawing like this and uh, sometimes to make it more clear, you can also make a front view of the complete care box. And normally you do that when there are pipes outside and things like that. Then you put also top view or side view of a view that's important for the pipes or attachment on the care box. Okay, guys, uh, hopefully uh, see you later. This was the tutorial number three. Um, yeah, see you the next time.